How you doing YouTube? This is Chris Mizo here with another video about Intel. I know Intel hasn't been on anyone's minds lately, but I'll tell you exactly why they should be. Do you think Intel has a fighting chance when they come out with the 11th gen or the 12th gen? Or do you think they're just too far behind to even catch up now? Do you think it's a little bit too late for Intel? to catch up on AMD's technology because Intel's 11th and 12th gen is coming soon. And they're coming back hard with a vengeance. Matter of fact, Intel plans to release these new processors by quarter one of 2021. If you were thinking of holding off on your PC build this year, you might actually be doing the right thing. You're gonna wanna hear everything I have to say because this very processor may affect you. Now, right before I get to it, if you like content like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy videos just like this and you wanna join this wonderful big fan band, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Hey, fan band, I'm just about to tell you exactly what Intel has been up to. Intel has just been going down this downward slope since summer of 2019 of last year. And when they were going down this downward slope, they just kept going down further and further and it even got more steeper. And the reason why it got more steeper is because they tried to pose these temp generation chips as a better performer processor compared to its predecessor. When in reality, the 10th generation processor was just as powerful as the 9th generation. There was almost no difference there. We all saw what happened to Brian Krezenich, Intel's former CEO. Intel lost focus on their processors and they focused more on AI and they also focused more on 5G. All the consumers wanted was a better product. They just wanted Intel to invest more on their science team and actually come out with a processor that is an actual improvement. But Intel ignored everybody and they decided to do what they felt was profitable. And therefore, that's why Intel is sitting in the hole they're sitting in. But are they actually finally listening now? Rocket Lake, Intel's newest 11th generation processor, where it's 10 nanometers in size compared to its normal 14 nanometer size, which is a big upgrade for Intel, but of course AMD is already at seven nanometers. So will they be able to compete with AMD? And is this even really worth talking about? Hey fan bam, wait till you hear this. Intel in the past has been extremely reliable to where it would perform exactly for what you needed it for and it would keep cool temperatures. Intel promises that they will develop a new 500 series chipset for these new motherboards and that it would increase your multitask experience. And then on top of that, it's gonna increase gaming performance. This new processor is supposed to be able to blend to be able to get your max resolution so you can enjoy a very great video game experience. And then even with this leak on videocards.com, which I'm about to show you, has a 12th generation processor prototype. So is Intel trying to think way ahead of AMD to try to jump the competition? Wait till you hear this. So the new design for this socket set for these processors will be LGA 1700, which is way different for sure. So with this planned CPU, it's supposed to save you wattage from your PSU. And then on top of that, it will increase your core performance. But the problem doesn't lie there. They lost trust in their consumers, including the big ones like Apple and Asus. You're gonna to wanna to hear this. Rocket Lake S will be Intel's eight core 16 thread processor. And then on top of that, they promise that they will double the IPC of it, which will increase the workloads, definitely increase AI, and it will be able to increase gaming performance. Not only will it be able to do all those things, it will be able to power up PCI Express 4.0 up to 20 lanes. It will be able to media encode VP9, and it will also be able to encode 
4K 60. What really improves this processor a whole lot is how they're combining Cypress Cove Core with XELP graphics. Hey fam bam, guys, take a look at this on videocards.com. This is supposed to be Intel's Core i9. This is supposed to be the 11th gen here. Doesn't look really a whole lot different from what they currently have now. But this architecture, they promise that they will be able to support up to 4.0. So, remember how Intel used to do TikTok, and I'm not talking about the new social media, app, of course, but the whole TikTok was Tik was more of the smaller, uh, the smaller upgrade to, whereas though Tok would be the big upgrade, and this would be Tok from the looks of it. So it looks like Intel's kind of reverting back to its old self, to where they're trying to gain that momentum that they used to have and how this new chipset is going to be a little bit bigger so they're promising a much bigger performance here as you can see its size is about 45 by 37 and a half millimeters compared to the predecessor set which was LGA's 1200 CPUs which was 37 and a half by 37 and a half so the we will see exactly how much of an improvement that they make, but until we actually can benchmark it and test it, then we'll know if Intel's serious or not. Here's all Intel's CPU specs right here. If you're interested in taking a look at this list, I will make sure to put it down in the description box and down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to join the wonderful big fan bam and more videos just like this, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here. Hey fan bam, I just got to ask you guys because I really want to know, does Rocket Lake S interest you at all? Or do you feel Intel's just burned out and that it's not even worth bothering with them for now? Or have they not earned your trust? Let me know down in the comments right down below because I would really appreciate hearing from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.